to thank you so very much. You know, the Haitian apostolate has been in existence for almost uh, 40, 49 years. I've been in, in New York for the past 49 years. And the goal of the apostolate is, of course, to evangelize, to announce Jesus Christ, and to serve. Because Jesus said that all the rules of the Old Testament boil down to one. You love the Lord your God with all your heart, and you love your neighbor as yourself. And it is, uh, so we've been trying to reach out to <coughs> people all over. And through this uh, internet, for instance, two years ago, we had a contest for youth, for the youth. And the winner was a Haitian studying in Japan. And the following week, a year, we had a similar, we didn't have it this year. Uh, it was, the winner was a Haitian studying in Turkey. And it was today, where, where is Marx? Mark Jean-Louis, who, who is a lawyer, he's the one who drove us today. He told us that last week somebody called him for Portugal. Wow. Portugal, a Haitian in Portugal. He says how he reads our newsletter all the time. So we really tr try to reach people all over and to serve them. In, of course, in the first place, to s announce Jesus Christ, the power and the beauty and the truthfulness of Jesus Christ, but also to serve. And our, one of our latest initiatives has been to try to write a documentary following the remark made by uh, the President of the United States, who said that Haiti is a shit house. <laughs> <laughs> So we want to demonstrate that there are many Haitians here who are extremely productive and efficient. Uh, we want to really bring out uh, all the Haitians who are working all over the place as professionals. And of course, the poor Haitians who also help in agriculture and in factories and who are also very helpful to taxi drivers and everything, the nurses' aides. Uh, we want to have a documentary to prove that the Haitians are not simply a bunch of people who are a burden on the shoulders of the United States, but that we participate also into the economic and cultural uh, value of the United States. That's a purpose. And for this, we will need your help, because we are, start, we are starting with our naked hands. But it's, it's, it's our history. I remember when I started in Sacred Heart, with a lot of Haitians coming to the rectory, and we realized that it was not the job of the rectory. So, and then there was a Haitian man who had a store on Linden Boulevard, and who told us he, could, he wanted to go back to it. He would sell it for $25,000. We didn't have a penny, but a group of us in the church, we accepted to receive $5,000, so we collected $5,000 and accepted $450 a month. So very quickly, we were able to pay in within two or three years. And besides the building next door got on fire and the owner wanted to get rid of it, so we bought it for $13, <laughs> we created $13,000, and we created what we call Haitian American United for Progress. And now Haitian American in Progress has been in existence for more than 40 years, and they are really the most uh, respectable Haitian Association service in New York. They have a house in Queens and a house in Brooklyn, and they are flourishing. Okay, so sometimes you have to start with your naked hand, and providentially, it produces fruit. So we hope that uh, this documentary will. Finally, we found two or three people who are very interested in pushing it, and but we need a lot of 
inquiry. This is a purpose. We want to know, we're going to ask you how many Haitians are in, in uh, DC or this area, and uh, if there are any service offered to them. Uh, uh, do you get along or do you fight with each other? <laughs> and wh uh, what's your goals? Uh, are you open minded or are you closed minded? We want to kind of make an assessment of the Haitians here at uh, DC, okay, to see if you are people of conscientious, people who want to do something. Because when we look at Haiti, my goodness, we don't know how to start. Possibly you might have ideas as to how to start. So this is kind of the purpose of this day. But before we go further, we are going to bless the food. <laughs> Because I know that Buto told me this is the only reason why he come because he will have a good meal here. <laughs> <laughs> you know Buto. Buto is really my right hand. He's very, very dedicated. He really works for nothing. Dedicated. Actually, you doctors, please scream at him because <laughs> he sometimes doesn't eat. No, spend the whole day walking around. And, okay, so please pull his ears because he doesn't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for bringing us together. You have your own purpose. And as we are together, we ask you to bless us with a spirit of love and unity, bless the food that we are about to share. And bless those who prepared it. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Bon appétit and happy birthday to, to Maggie. Maggie. Oh. She, just, she just turned 12. <laughs> Thirty-nine. <laughs> 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 Thank mm -hmm. you. 